Good morning. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. May 28th. As you can see, I'm still an iPad child. This is day four without my cell phone. I spent all weekend playing detective. It was really fun and I was starting to get really into it and I was on my iPad, on find my iPhone, just like tracking the person. Find my iPhone is so mapped out that it actually, you really are in there feeling like a spy. You feel like you're onto something. And I suppose it's like that for a reason because you really are onto something and you can retrieve your phone. Except for me because I don't have my own transportation. You see, like if I drove, it would have been so easy to get my phone back. But I had to rely on others to possibly retrieve my phone back. And one of my coworkers, my friend, actually helped me get to the location of which it was pinned on, you know? But because we went before work, it just didn't turn out. It just didn't turn out as we, as I expected. I think she was just wanting to like help, but we weren't able to give that much time on getting to where we were going. So it just did not amp out to anything really. So I spent all weekend doing that. It's just really annoying to know that somebody has your phone, saw you leave your phone behind, and instead of being like, here's your phone back. Hey, you forgot something. They're like pocketed mine now. I can't do anything with it because it's turned off. So I'm just gonna carry it around in hopes that maybe I can come across somebody that will I sell it to or can get me inside of it. Regardless, it is just annoying to know that somebody's holding your phone with years worth of data. Um, it feels like an invasion, like that energy, knowing that my energy is in their hands. I'm kind of over it now, it's four days later. I have a phone on the way, it's gonna be here any day now. But that sits in the back of my mind, you know? Somebody can access my phone. And I wouldn't know, and they would just go through all my photos. And I, and I wouldn't know. Um, but aside from that, this week has been good. I mean, it's been so interesting. I, in my just have fun era, I don't feel really tense at all. I just feel very loosey goosey and I feel um, very calm, going with the wind, kind of just accepting matters of the fact. And it's been great. I went back to yoga yesterday. I took a whole week off. So it's getting back into my routine a little bit. That's what I have for you today. Today, let's go over the outfit. I'm wearing this velvet prop jacket. I have a tube like dress. This is actually, I wear this to sleep all the time, but I really like it, so I wear it out too. And then I just have a skirt underneath, and then these boots. Boots are from Veron. That's how I'll be starting my day. Have you ever lost something but have known exactly where it is and you just can't get to it? You can retrieve it so easily, but you just can't really get to it. That's my phone situation. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks for listening. Mwah. Morning, how are you guys doing? My name is Casey. Um, I'm going into work. This is a close angle. As you can see, my friend is still here. He's fading away. He looks like a scar now. But he definitely gets more like definition to my eyebrow area. Um, I'm ready for him to leave. But he wants to stick around some longer time. I'm so sleepy. And I was doing okay, but then I had a chamomile tea, a nice hot chamomile tea. And that shit will get me yawning 20 minutes after the first sip. I'm ready for bed. I'm ready for sleeps. Is this camera angle okay? Also, don't judge my background, please. This is a safe space. I've gathered. We have gathered. We've all gathered here today because I'm going to do my nails. My nails are really long, but I have a feeling that a couple of them are, will be breaking soon. So I took off the blue nail polish that I did too thick of a coat on and it was just chipping away like cheap paint. And I'm going to um, now do this purple. I haven't used this color just yet. This is Wildflower by Gabriel. Wildflower for this purple seems like they could have done a better job with the name, but I'm not here to be judgmental, I'm here to do my nails. I've spent all weekend being Inspector Gadget on the search for my phone and I've also spent all weekend trying to think of detectives and I just for some reason could not think of any. We grow up reading books in elementary school about detectives and there's a woman detective that is just escaping my mind and I could not think of it so Inspector Gadget. I'm not even sure, I don't remember clearly if he was an actual inspector and if you care, no, I haven't gotten my phone back. I was enjoying it so hard though, the search, watching the burglar on my iPad just flop around the city, getting no use out of my phone because it is shut off, no service, and yet he's greedy, so he keeps it 
doesn't return it. And then eventually on Sunday, see I lost my phone on Friday evening, like Friday afternoon. Sunday, me and my coworker bop over to where the phone has been most frequented. The person was not there and we only were able to spend like five minutes over there. And I was kind of bummed out because had I been by myself, I have to be honest, had I been by myself with my own transportation, with my own internet in order to like search for the phone, I would have made it happen. I would have left those back roads with my phone. I come to terms that my phone is not returning. However, it is a little bit frustrating, just like hard to process the fact that if he was a tech whiz, if this stranger was a tech whiz and he had access to the inside of my phone, he can see all of my four years worth of photos and baggage of that my no app carries. Let me lay down. Clear coat is drying. I put on eye makeup today and I'm rubbing my eyes and I think as I rub them I'm just getting more and more product in my eyes. That's why I'm rubbing them it's because I have I've had product in this eye all day. I have yoga two hours after doing this so I'm just gonna pray to the nail polish gods that um I don't fuck it up too much. I think I'm just gonna do one coat to be safe because it'll dry really really fast and then I'll just do the next coat tonight. What do we think? Purple nail polish. This is the tightest packaging ever. I already have neon hair in my nail. It's really annoying do, doing my nails at home sometimes because I will think I did such a flawless job and then we'll take a closer look and there's literally a piece of neon hair embedded into the nail polish. I always keep a piece of him with me everywhere I go. Oh my god, I almost did it again. This purple is looking very... I don't know if you just saw his tail, but he was on my lap. This purple is looking very mauve. I've also noticed that I do my nails very, very well in the dark. It could be just because I, other than the fact that I did the thickest coat I could have possibly done last time I did my nails in the dark, which was that blue. That was shipping away like G paint. Sounds like I said G thanks. G paint? G thanks? Anyways, it's probably because my focus is like hyper, hyper focus. Uh, because you really have to focus in on the oh my god sorry I'm obviously I can't do more than one thing at a time doing my nails this color is also just reminding me of the fact that of the person who stole my phone because when I got on the bus before it all happened the first word he said to me was I'm a purple heart which I don't know what the fuck that means I didn't at the time I still don't know what that means could have researched it, I didn't, um, but he told me I am a purple heart and then showed me his bus pass as if it was like a government identification or access to the White House or something. I don't know what that means. I also don't like this application. This nail polish feels tacky and glue-like. It's not as smooth as Essie is, I'll tell you that. Oh, how's your day-to-day -day without a phone, you ask? It's actually really good, mostly because I neglect my iPhone on a regular basis. But when I go outside, I'm questioning why it's so quiet and who turned the music off. But it's actually just me going about my day without headphones in. It's not very abnormal for me to experience reality without headphones in. I'll actually make the conscious decision to not wear headphones down on my commute some days just because I feel a little bit like detached. When I'm feeling kind of anxious, I'll do that because it'll bring, it'll ground me. It's a great way to ground yourself. If you're always wearing headphones in, it's obviously you're going to feel more anxious in the stimuli of the city because you're coated by headphones it just makes sense right but that is the only kind of thing that i am not too fond on i i love i just love music i want to be able to listen to music you know by my leisure the ambience of the city is cute or whatever but like there's also been a lot of fucking people talking to me and like and not just talking to me i mean like cat calling me this weekend, since I've lost my phone, it's Tuesday, these past four days. And in my the safety of my own neighborhood too, I'm like, why? when did all these dogs move out here? The day I lost my phone, I was being talked to on the street by somebody. And I just really, I literally got up, walked away. He was sitting next to me, got up and left. And said to myself, I just want to be left alone. Because of course I was frustrated. I was frustrated about the phone situation. Now I'm going to focus on my nails. I'm not really feeling this purple. It's looking, I think it's because it's just like 
kind of grayish like there's like gray undertones to it i want more of an indigo to be honest with you team i will probably take this off before the weekend and go back to blue and you guys didn't see me do them when i did blue but i'm pretty sure i showed them and let me tell you that blue is outstanding it looks so good my hands i feel like they just make my fingers or they just pop it looks very pretty and bold first coat done what do we think what do you think i don't really like them too much i think i'm just naturally comparing them to the blue because that was the very last color i had on before i removed it i'm just feeling unfulfilled looking at these i mean like i'm gonna need to do another coat because this looks atrocious but i need to lay it down again sorry my back hurts i just worked you know and i came home and i immediately started doing this i'm sorry i know this angle is probably so unflattering whatever i'm also straining my neck should we do the test of time how long can i do this no that's not good for my spine i'm gonna go to sleep do you mind if i take a nap really quick i'm just gonna take a nap i'll catch you guys i'll catch you guys there okay i'll meet you there what time is it anyways 1:43. hey siri Hey Siri, where are you girl? Oh man, I didn't realize what I was resting my ring finger on my pinky nail. It's okay, I'm gonna redo them anyways. Don't drink chamomile tea if you have plans for the rest of your afternoon. I hope you guys are doing well. Honestly, truly, and I mean this when I say it, life feels fun for me right now. I'm definitely feeling like my objective for this phase of my life is to be wild, be young, be wild, be free. I'm being called to just allow myself to have fun, yeah? So I hope you're doing well. My name is Casey. Thanks for hanging out with me as I did my nails that, look, look can you see it? I already have, wait, there's, I don't, you can't see it. It's very frustrating because I see it. Cat hair. Cat hair in my nails. They're not dry yet, so they will be drying with the cat hair. You can expect me to be doing my hair. And by that, I mean you can expect to see me bleaching my hair in the coming video. And I hope to see you there. KC Salon, is that what this channel is now? Just, I wanted to say gym tan laundry, but none of those have anything to do with the salon, except for maybe tanning. And I could use a good tanning moment, but I mean from like, south florida beach not a tanning bed because i'm frightened from tanning beds have you seen final destination if you haven't that's good save you lots of anxieties and intrusive thoughts if you haven't seen the movies final destination but anyways in this one movie she goes into a tanning bed and a bunch of things in the tanning room fall on top of the tanning bed so when it's her time to get out or their time to get out they couldn't so they basically just burned to death Thanks for watching this video. Literally laying here in the process of going to sleep for my nap and it came to me. Nancy Drew. That is the detective women that we, some of us, I did. Those were books that were told us that we were asked to read. Nancy Drew. So I spent my whole weekend being Nancy Drew. That's all I wanted to say, thanks. I'm laying here eating popcorn. Boom chicka pop popcorn, sweet and salty. And let me tell you, this, this is the life. This is the life. Nothing like getting crumbs all over your pillow that you sleep on at night. This, this, this lady, this is what coffee makes me feel like. Crash. So we ask, is the coffee high worth? I don't have you laying in bed eating popcorn, staring at the ceiling, the ceiling, wanting to go to sleep, but like not having the executive function to. The result of oat milk latte. Five hours later. I just got out of the shower, I just got home from yoga. Remember I was saying how I was feeling like my nails were about to crack or one of them was about to break? One of them did, it wasn't the one I was suspecting. I was suspecting this, wait, which one? This one, because it is cracked here. Like, it's beginning to chip. You can't tell because now my nails are painting. But today, during yoga class, I went to reach for my back leg. It slipped. It slipped against my fingernail, it pushed it back, and now you can see this one because it, 
it's freshly cracked. I wanted to paint my nails purple before my nails broke and objective complete. Most importantly, the reason why I want to turn on this camera in this very moment is because the message of the summer is to take up space and more so finding comfort, being comfortable and taking up space because maybe you take up space but then when you realize you are um, being genuine, being your authentic self, you tend to shell away and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm expressing, I'm naked, I'm vulnerable. No. Allow yourself to sit in that. The message of the summer is find comfort in taking up space. I don't want to sound very ignorant in this very moment, but shaming yourself is dead. It can be dead all the while you are working through it. We accept ourselves in the shame or the guilt or maybe the um, regret. We accept it and we move forward. We forgive ourselves and we move forward and we allow ourselves to be entirely our most authentic self because how else are you the most important person in your life is yourself. I know you love your family. I know you love your friends. I know you love your pets, this, that, the other. But who has you when no one else is around? Let that sink in, knock, knock. If you can accept yourself and kind of take space and allow yourself to find comfort in taking up space, how else are you going to live your most joyful, blissful, the best quality of life that you could? You can't. So we're working on that this summer. Gently, but nonetheless, we are finding comfort in taking space. I wholeheartedly believe that you got this and I got that many English. My old class, she said any special request, I said it's fine. She asked mobility, I said always. She went right into it. I feel really good. My spine feels caressed in ways that I hadn't before. That's all I have for you. I wanted today to be a really chill day because I'm very sleepy. And I just want to be in my space and sit with my energy. I don't have much. We don't have much. I did my nails. We um, ate diamondinas together. I reminded you to take up space and find comfort in that power. It's not easy, maybe. It's not always easy. You don't always start from being confident, but you work your way up. Accepting yourself and forgiving yourself for any maybe shameful moments or embarrassing moments or just like simply accepting the fact that it happened and you can grow through it period. Probably not gonna make myself dinner. I don't feel like making rice. I'm just gonna eat junk and um, rest. Take a rest. Did a little lift. A leg lift. Did you see my blue sock? They're soft. You st okay, there you go. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Casey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I don't know what happened throughout the nail painting portion of this. Um, I just remember being very sleepy and, and um, being unsatisfied by this purple. I'm still pretty unsatisfied by this purple. I'm not the biggest fan. I'm probably going to go back to blue. It is what it is. I will talk to you tomorrow. I see those. Bye.